All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the CART mod, which stands for Container Appropriate for Roaming and Transporting, which is kind of a long name, so we'll just stick with CART, it's easier. And this lovely little piece of work is being made by user Buwali, and what it looks to add into the game is an amusing but surprisingly useful method for carrying around all of your over-encumbering junk. And that is a usable shopping cart. And I gotta admit, when I first saw this mod, I thought it was kind of strange and weird, but then I started using it and thinking about it more, and it's actually a surprisingly immersive and useful way of carrying around things in the Commonwealth. I mean, come on, it's the post-apocalypse. If you found crap that you needed to carry, and then you found a shopping cart, you'd probably put it in there and start pushing it around. It just makes sense. And so, that's what you can do with these carts. They are movable storage units. And that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So how do you get your hands on one of these? Well, it is surprisingly easy. You don't need to go out there and find them. No, in fact, you just need to head into your workshop mode, head on over to the furniture category, and then to containers, where just on the second item there, you'll find the cart, which for a mere five springs, ten steel, and three gears, you get this lovely and usable shopping cart. And it's just so great. It has a little teddy bear friend to stare into your soul as you carry it, which is a little strange, but hey, it's it's it, it works. It works. Now, as for this being a storage unit, it works just the same as any container in the game. You go up to it and throw crap in and then take it out. It's, it's the same as anything else. But you may be asking, well, since it's made of the workshop mode, is it static? No, no it is not. You can mess around with these as much as you want, carry them around, and even throw them if you so desire. That is all up to you. But of course, I mean, it's it's a shopping car. You should probably just walk around with it carrying your things. Now, if that does mean that it can be a bit awkward to hold this thing. Say, for instance, you come at it from a weird angle, or if you're too close, well, it's just taking up your entire screen. So the mod maker on the page for this does recommend that you sort of come at it from behind and grab down here where there's that bedroll. And when you do that, it's, uh, you know, a nice location for it, giving you still a good amount of line of sight so you can see if anything's coming at you, which is useful. And as an extra bonus, since it is a physics item, well, you can use it as portable cover as you're wandering around the Commonwealth with a shopping cart. Someone attacks you, duck behind, and take some shots. You will be good. Unless, of course, they throw a grenade, then this thing's going flying. And that can be problematic. Uh, you'll have to find it again in the world. But thankfully, your stuff should last a very long time. Now, the mod maker does recommend that you don't just leave it there forever. Uh, apparently, he tested it out, and after several in-game weeks, his stuff was still in the cart. But just to make sure you don't lose things, he does recommend that you do always keep it with you, and, you know, make sure it's in a nice, safe place. And since you can build multiples of these, well, that means you can actually have multiples of them and spread them around the Commonwealth, creating supplied caches for yourself, which since, you know, they don't have to be in a workshop area, you can pop them down wherever to build those little supply caches, which I also find a very interesting of an idea, as it's a container that's, well, frankly, pretty darn noticeable, especially with that creepy, creepy teddy bear. But yes, it's just a fun little mod that, again, is surprisingly useful, especially if you are wanting to be a bit more immersive in your gameplay. Again, it's a shopping cart. This, it just makes sense. And if you're going for a hardcore playthrough, it's another way to carry your over-encumbering stuff, which 
is a good thing. So yeah, that's really all there is to talk about this mod. Not a whole lot to go through. It's a useful, lovely little container that you can move around and easily throw, explode, shoot, and it will survive and carry your things. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I would definitely recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is gonna be it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next one. Hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod, but until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.